Welcome to the Country Bear Collector Show. And you know, in the history of me doing this show, almost 300 episodes of doing this show, I don't think there is going to be a more controversial review than this one that I'm about to do. Today, we are taking a look at these Walt Disney World 50th Amazon.com exclusive plush of the Country Bear Jamboree. Now, when you when you order this off of Amazon, and as of the filming of this, I'm, I'm filming this in November of 2022, you could still get this uh, set. Um, you, you get this box here, right? And uh, this is the box that it comes in. Uh, you can see on the bottom, it says uh, WDW 50th Anniversary Country Bear Jamboree. Uh, these are Just Play, uh, is the name of the company uh, that made these. And uh, when I pulled this out of the box, I immediately said, these are gonna be fantastic because look at this box. They could have just had just a regular cardboard box, but no, you've got Big Al's guitar, you got some horseshoes, you got the castle, you got the Country Bear Jamboree logo, and then you're gonna open it up and you're gonna see these wonderful plush. Well, ladies and gentlemen, when you open it up, this is what the box looks like. Now, of course, the plush aren't in there. We're gonna get to the plush in just a second, but this is what the box looks like. Now, you just imagine there's three plush in there. You've got this like kind of foil embossed side. You've got the guitars on the bottom. It's like all shiny and reflective. Uh, then you got some information about the Country Bear Jamboree kind of on the side there. And like fun fact, originally planned in the mid 1960s for a never built Disney ski resort in Mineral King, California, right? And then on the back, look at this. You got a whole little blurb about the Country Bear Jamboree and I mean this this packaging is fantastic. They really took their time and they really made the packaging look amazing and then then You look at the plush This is Henry you can tell it's Henry cuz Sammy's up on top All right This is Teddy Bear. Oh Teddy Bear. They have done you wrong. They have done you wrong, Teddy Bear. And then the third plush, I guess I could stand these up right here so you could see them. The third plush is of course none other than Big Al. Ladies and gentlemen, now I do want to say um I understand that I have been very fortunate to be able to collect plush uh, from Tokyo Disneyland, from, from the Walt Disney World and Disneyland Resorts. And uh, I understand that. I'm coming from sort of a place of privilege. I've been able to, to have the means to collect all these different plush and different versions of the plush. And I was so excited for these. But after seeing Tokyo Disneyland and then seeing these, I was just so disappointed. Because... The box is amazing. I mean, when you see this box, you're like, oh, something's good's in here. And then you open up this and you see these. What is, let me ask you this. Where Big Al's mouth is, he's he's got like a, a, like a, a, a fur colored lip. And then there's like a, a line of, you see what I mean? He's got like a lip line and then are those supposed to be his teeth? Cause that's fur. I don't know what's happening. His guitar is bent. That's how that's how it came. He he's like an egg shape. These are okay, right? They're not the worst. There have been worse country bear plush. I'm not saying these are the worst. But this is just a let when you see all this packaging, how great it looks and how ugh, and then these and you know what Tokyo Disneyland is capable of. Why, why couldn't we get plush as cute as that? What is happening here? The cutest thing about, I'll say some nice things about it. The cutest thing about this is Sammy. He's adorable. But uh, I don't know. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I, a lot of people, I posted online, I posted, I think, on Twitter or on Instagram that I didn't really care for these. And a couple people lambasted me and were like, no, they're great. And I'm just like, okay, they're great. You know, I, I don't want to, this is, these reviews on this show are my reviews. And, and to me, these could have been a whole lot better. 
uh, than they are. And um, I almost wish they'd spent less time on the packaging and more on the plush. Because th these plush are fine, but they, uh, they're, not, they're not as good as they could be because we've seen, we've seen how good Tokyo Disneyland plushes are. And we've been spoiled by Tokyo Disneyland plushes. And then when we finally get plushes, this is what we get. I tried very hard. It is very hard not to give these two paws. It is very, very hard not to give these two paws. So I, I'm going to give it a very low three paws. But it's just barely three. Because I appreciate the packaging. I appreciate the display. I do not appreciate these plush at all. Uh, and that's my review. Listen, you can go over to the Country Bear Collector Show Instagram page. You can tell me I'm wrong. Be sure to follow us over there. Be sure to follow me on, uh, uh, subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode. And if you're not totally angry, tune in next time because we'll have more fun to review. But ladies and gentlemen, friends, this, this, this isn't it. This is not it! Oh my gosh. Barely three paws. Thanks, everybody. If you enjoyed the show, give us a like and click the subscribe button. If you'd like to see the show continue, consider supporting Saturday Morning Media via Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.